Hey guys, Denise here with Bark Buildings. You may recognize our name or seen us around town. We partner with residential apartment buildings to create amenity programs and provide services for resident pets. A lot of the dogs that we see on a daily basis come from Liberty Humane Society, so we're super excited to be working with them for Bark in the Park and making some delicious treats today. Uh, I know this is the most important fundraiser of the year for Liberty Humane, so we hope you guys can support. All the money raised goes towards the medical expenses of the thousands of dogs that they see coming in and out of the shelter every year. So we're gonna jump right in. We're gonna make popsicles today, or popsicles if you prefer that. Um, I love this these recipe because it's not really a set recipe. It's very versatile and you can kind of tweak it to whatever your particular dog likes. They might be bigger fans of bacon or peanut butter or apples and all those ingredients go great in popsicles. And so we're going to be making two different types today. Both of them are very healthy, they're grain free, um, and they're super, super simple. So while I will give you um, instructions and I'll let you know how much of each ingredient to use, you could totally uh, use a little more or a little less of any ingredient and it's really hard to go wrong with this one so i think you guys will like it so let's get into it the first one we're going to do is going to be peanut butter based and uh, we're going to throw in a few added ingredients let's start with yogurt so the basis for both of the popsicles we're going to make and for a lot of the recipes you'll see online for these as well is plain yogurt. The important thing here is just that it doesn't have any added sweeteners. So always go with plain. Uh, if you can get Greek yogurt even better because higher protein for your pup. So we're going to start with one and a half cups of plain yogurt. And we can go ahead and put that straight into our mixing bowl. There's about one cup. Like I said, you don't have to be as particular as you are with making human treats, which is a nice bonus if it's not your strong suit. So there's one and a half cups of yogurt. Now we're gonna grab a medium banana. The more ripe, the better. It's gonna be easier for you to mash it up. So I'm going to use a fork to mash my banana. You can use any kind of household utensil that works. I tend to like forks. So I'm gonna do it on my cutting board here. Hopefully you guys can see it. There we go. All right, so we're gonna mash it basically until it's pretty smooth, but it's okay for there to be some chunks. This doesn't have to be perfect. You're welcome to use a blender if you want it to be super smooth, but I think this is more fun. Puts more work into it. It's a nice little arm workout. So. That is pretty good for my mashed banana. As you can see, kind of looks like a puree. It was nice and ripe, so it was easy to mash. And then I'm going to mix that one medium banana in with my yogurt. I've already portioned out a quarter cup of peanut butter. And so we will throw that right in. I know most dogs absolutely love peanut butter and you've probably frozen it for them in a Kong or something like that. Um, this is adding in even more nutrients by using the banana and yogurt in the recipe. So once our peanut butter is added in, we can go ahead and mix together all the ingredients. It'll look something like that. Ooh, almost lit out. So I'm gonna mix them up really well. All right, there we go. Let me do this. There we go. And we're gonna put them in ice cube trays today. So got these trays, got a spoon, and you can go ahead and fill them all in. Then we're gonna freeze it for about three hours. And when it's frozen, you can pop them out whenever you're ready to give them to your dog. I would just recommend not giving more than one a day. If you have a bigger dog, two a day is probably okay, uh, but don't give too much of them. And then as our topper today, I'm going to use blueberries. You can use um, a mini dog treat. You can use bacon bits, um, sweet potato bits, dried apple. It's really, uh, really flexible with what you put on top here. I think 
the blueberries are quite cute. So it looks like that. And yeah, and that's it. So that's our first recipe. I'm actually gonna do another really quick one. We have like a minute left for this. And I think we can knock it out because it's a really simple one. So for our second one, I actually have popsicle molds. And we're gonna go back to our base, which is the yogurt. For this, we're gonna use a blender. It's a little quicker and a little easier. We're gonna do one cup of yogurt and then one and a half apples. So you wanna peel the apples, you wanna core the apples, make sure that all that harmful stuff is out of them. Well, that's our one cup of yogurt. And then my one and a half apples, I chopped up. This is a smaller blender, so I'm actually gonna just do it in pieces. We are going to blend it. All right. And then the most important part to get you ready for fall and your dog ready for fall, we're gonna throw in a little bit of cinnamon in them. Recommend about a quarter teaspoon. I'm just gonna eyeball it with this. Throw in a couple more of my apples. So we get the full one and a half apples. Give it another quick blend. I know we've gone over our minute. It's quick, you guys. Beautiful. And now, we're gonna grab, where did I put them? Our popsicle molds. We can actually just pour that right in. Again, about three hours to freeze them. These are a little bigger, so more ideal for the bigger dogs of the bunch, but super healthy, super easy to make. And I'm sure your dog will love them. And we can't wait to hear how you guys decide to customize your popsicles. So again, Thank you, Liberty Humane, for having us, and we hope you guys like your treats and donate to Bark in the Park. Thank you.